Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you OneDrive storage for how do you fix it. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. Now, if you're getting some weird notification here and the OneDrive icon has that weird uh, red icon or cross on it, well, there are two ways that you could do to fix this issue. Now, let's go ahead and just open up our folder here. So I have my OneDrive here in one of my folders. But yeah, so in here at the dev side, you have your OneDrive. Now, typically, uh, if you are getting that issue or notification here, it means that the storage that you currently have right now on your OneDrive is or currently exceeds or almost in its limit. Now, you can just right click on the OneDrive icon as you see at the left side here, and you want to go and choose the option for OneDrive and click on the View Online button. Now, by the way, you may need to open up or boot up one uh, browser first. Let's go, uh, go back in here. I click on it again and click on OneDrive and choose view online. Now in here, you just need to log in into your account and to view your current uh, account. So for OneDrive here, there are two uh, versions of it. So you have the online and the desktop version. So this is the online version of OneDrive. Now at the bottom left here, as you can see, the total limit right now for OneDrive is five gigabyte. Now, if you are nearing that uh, capacity or is you've already maxed your uh, storage here, you'll definitely get that notification in your PC. Now, to solve that, if you want to or re you are really want to, you want to really use, use OneDrive here, I would recommend you to buy more storage here. Click on Buy Storage and just choose the basic subscription here. They have a basic subscription for 365, one person for personal and family here, which is 609. Now this one is pretty cheap. Now you are going to, to get like 100 gigabyte of storage here. Now depending on what you get, like for example, personal here, uh, it's around like one terabyte of storage so which is something really cool but if you don't want to buy storage here and you just want to remove uh that pesky notification well what you need to do is you want to go and go back in here you want to right click on it on the onedrive icon you see at the left side here and you want to go to onedrive and go to settings now under settings you want to go to your account now in here you want to choose the unlink this pc and click on unlink account now, once you've unlinked your account, that would actually just remove or no longer give you the uh, red or pesky notification. But just in case it's still there, what you need to do is you want to go to search here. Just type in apps. Uh, let's just uninstall. Uninstall uh, apps. And let's go choose uh, uninstalled apps here. And under installed apps, you want to go ahead and search for a OneDrive. If you do see OneDrive here, click on the three dotted option at the right side, click on uninstall, click on the uninstall button, answer yes, it requires further permission. But once you've done that, just wait for a while and that would uninstall Microsoft uh, OneDrive here. And when you go back into your PC, you'll no longer see any notifications or any uh, red, um, pesky red notifications here on your PC. Now, by the way, this does not permanently delete your OneDrive account. You could just go to onedrive.live.com to access the online version of your account and your files will still be in there. So if you need to download it, you just need to click on the dot option at the right side here and you can open it. Now, if you right click on it, again, you have the open button here. So yeah, so by the way, if you wanna if you wanna view it, go ahead and click, just click on the document itself uh, and yeah, then you should be good. So. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.